So moving on to our next story, Food Wars. Have you heard of it? Well, if you have, don't watch it to your family. But either way, more importantly, is the newest uh, season of Food Wars. Food Wars, Shokugeki no Shoma, The Fifth Plate, which is the fifth season of the Food Wars anime, Food Wars, Shokugeki no Shoma, is going to be delayed. But there's some interesting information about this story that's very different compared to some other stuff that we've talked about on this episode so far. So they were able to get two episodes out before the delays. And according to the Japanese website, they're going to be delayed until July or later. I'm banking on the or later because there's a lot of companies right now, a lot of shows that we've talked about, movies, whatnot, that we've talked about already in this episode that are being delayed and they were coming out in July. So they say July or later. However, uh, the English version simply states till July 2020. I think that's a bad times table. Uh, I mentioned before that there are some companies that are saying that they will return, um, that have like specific dates on when their shows or movies or whatever will return. This is one of them, and I think it's a very bad idea to do that because, again, what if that doesn't happen? Now people are ramped up for something that might not happen. So could they get it out by July 2020? I don't know their workstation. I don't know their workflow. If they do, um, if they are able to do it, maybe they have their computers at home, uh, their work computers, or they're able to bring them home somehow if they are able to do it from home so be it i've not heard of one japanese production that's been able to do or work on anything extensively from home um i mean i've heard of some stuff for jump but uh but when it comes to and we'll talk about that a little bit later but when it comes to um most of the anime that are out there right now that we've talked about so far a lot of them were not able to uh adjust obviously so to everything that's going on in the world right now and create more content during this time uh, or at least create it in a way that would then put out more anime at the pace that they were going at a weekly uh, pace so again that makes a lot of sense i'm not saying that it's a bad thing it just is what it is so the fact that they've put till july 2020 Again, I think that's jumping the gun a little bit. I don't want them to. I don't want to say, oh, well, you know, I don't want to be proven right. Uh, Just at the top of the episode, I mentioned a show that we talked about um, an episode ago, an episode or so ago, that I had a feeling was going to be delayed. Turns out that it was because it was coming out in July. I'm not a fan of being right in this case. Usually I am. But in this case, I'm definitely not. But... Sadly, it just is what it is. Um, in Japan, they'll be re-airing uh, some earlier Food Wars, um, well, some stuff from Food Wars Season 4. Um, but yeah, and it sucks too because I'm sure there's some people out there that are thinking, well, why did they not just uh, delay the whole thing entirely? Well, I think it's because of the fact that Japan uh, declared a state of emergency, which means that now you can have companies looking at the channels that they paid for the time slots for and go, hey, whoa, Japan, state of emergency. I'm sure under their contracts, they have some kind of, if not state of emergency, some general uh, stuff that clears them if there's like a hurricane, a tsunami, a tornado, something like that. So just general acts of God. I don't know what it would be in Japanese, but I'm sure this is one of those situations where they have a clause that they're going, so now we can get out of this contract for now. So I'm assuming that's what they were waiting for, even though to many of us, at least looking at this from a U.S. perspective, if you would have asked me at the time, hey, do you think this anime is going to get delayed? I mean, it only got up to episode three. This story came out in um, in mid uh, mid-May, rather. Um, they only got to episode three. Yeah, I would have stated that... We would with knowing even some of the stuff that we knew in March, I would have said late March, uh, I would have been like, yeah, no, uh, that Food Wars anime is going to get delayed. So I'm sure they knew as well, but they had to wait until Japan declared some type of state of emergency or something like that to then get out of their television contract, which I assume they had. Um, or just, yeah, their television contract and also their animation contract if they were in one, assuming that they were in one, for the time being. So either way, um, obviously, just like every other story that we're talking about, it is definitely sad. Uh, I did, I was being serious though when I mentioned don't watch this in front of your family. Um, thankfully, I have not done that, but I did watch it. I believe, it, yeah, it was through Adult Swim when they were airing it there. I was like, you know what, let me give this thing a shot. Let me see what all the hullabaloo is about. It's been a while uh, since it came out, but I've heard some things about it. I've it was very popular Uh, i didn't hear it was popular amongst the kids or the teens but if i had i would have been like i would have gone back to my students who i used to be a debate coach for i'd have been like what were you reading 
All right, what smut were you peddling around here? Uh, but thankfully, I didn't have to do that. Um, the only thing I've ever seen uh, them read or talk about is like Dragon Ball Super, My Hero Academia. Um, I remember once uh, when I was working at a middle school tournament. I didn't they, I didn't have middle school kids, but I worked at a middle school tournament. And there was one kid that came up with like a volume of My Hero and it was the cutest thing. And then when I owned that volume of My Hero, I was like, what? I was like, her butt. Her butt is on the back of that. And I did not notice. Um, but either way, I think it was, uh, Lady... No. I forgot her name. I feel bad. It's been a while. She gets very, very large, and uh, her large butt was on the back of that volume. So, yeah, anyway, point being is that, uh, when it comes to this show, um, I enjoyed what I saw, but I was, I was very, I was very confused. I did not think it was going in that direction, uh, when I saw that first episode. I was like, okay, okay, I thought it was just food. Uh, food fighting, fighting foodons, perhaps. Did not think we were going in this direction. All right. Um, but either way, though, um, the show, interestingly enough, the show was initially delayed mid April. So I don't know why it was then still. I, I would imagine that delay would have uh, affected things. Again, maybe it looked like in Japan, because I'm obviously talking about this from a US perspective. In Japan, maybe it looked like things were getting a little bit better, but obviously. Japan clearing a state of emergency. Uh, no, it has not been getting better over there. Um, so yeah, it's it's obviously frustrating, of course, as I mentioned, on and on and on, but I have to say it over and over again. Um, it's frustrating that, of course, people are both losing their jobs or at the very least they're being furloughed or just not working right now and not getting any kind of money in. Um, and, of course, uh, from the other side, people who are fans of this, who do want to see this and support these companies and watch them through, you know, Crunchyroll, buy the DVDs and whatnot through, um, uh, through not Shout Factory, uh, through Sentai Filmworks. Yeah, it's, it's really frustrating all around. So if you're a fan of this show, tell me what you thought about the first two episodes, if you enjoyed where it was going, um, and what you think about all this news in the comment section down below.